with Smalley being gone, does it make any difference for you guys, or is it pretty much still the same? Huh? Um, it's a little, it's a little different for sure, because uh, Coach Smalley is under here. But um, I think we'll still compete as hard as we usually do, play solid golf, and uh, and show that uh, we can we can perform well and compete uh, as well as when Coach is not here, uh, as well as when Coach is here. Does it change anything in your approach, knowing that he's a pretty good golfer, that he's over there competing and he can beat you guys? I mean, does that help you? Yeah. Of course, it's uh, it's actually an extra challenge. It's always fun to uh, to practice to practice it against him, and uh, like a chipping contest against him is always a, a pretty tough challenge. So uh, beating my coach is uh, is always fun. Does that give you any extra confidence, maybe you know during the week or anything else? That he's here, and now that he's not here, you know, does that does that change anything, or does it just go about the business the normal way? Well, uh, the fact that he's not here is just I, I think it would just go go about my business uh, like we usually do, practice as hard as we do, as we do, and uh, and do our own deal. Uh, thanks, Tom. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. So I know last weekend you said the team kind of suffered from a lack of motivation. Um, do, you, do you like the mentality any better this week? Well, it wasn't really a lack of motivation. It was more like um, like first tournament of the year, so uh, we, we need to get back in the routine of yeah. playing tournaments, playing okay. around, competing in tournaments, like the pressure. So um, it took us, uh, I think it took us maybe probably two rounds or three rounds maybe, but I, I think we're, we're right back on track right now to compete as, as we did last year. Okay, and then um, I know you said after the second round Saturday, that Coach Small talked to you and it just kind of helped a lot. Um, do you think that that's something that you've missed um, this weekend? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we, we still, I mean, we talked to him uh, Sunday night right before he left, so uh, it was pretty nice to talk to him before he left. I mean, I wish him good luck over there, and uh, and it, it's not really a big difference. I think we'll, we'll compete as, as hard as we did uh, as we did last week, last Sunday. Okay. What, what about this tournament? Um, you know, obviously we won it last year and we've won it a couple other times in the past. Does that give you a little more confidence going into kind of a familiar situation? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, the strong won't be as, as strong. Uh, the field won't the field won't be as strong as uh, as last week. But um, knowing the course, we played it. I think uh, Alex played there two years ago, last year as well. I played there last year. Uh, David Kim as well and Charlie as well. So we all know the course, which is a big advantage. Uh, but um, def it's definitely, uh, we'll, we'll, I feel like we'll do great on that course, yeah, sure. And what are some of the differences that you notice between Justin and Coach Small? Um, there's not really a big, big difference. Maybe the, the only difference would be that Coach Small has more experience as a as a head coach. So uh, he's like, there's more to say also. But uh, like the fact that Coach Small is a He's played a couple of major championships and he's played on tour. You can feel that he is more experienced. That's pretty much it. But otherwise, I like Coach. I like Coach Vecho. I like the way he talks to us. I like the way he's on course. He's on the course. He's just helping us in a perfect way. So.